Chapter 5, verse 12. Here is, this is the testimony. And this is the testimony. God has given us eternal life, and this life is in his Son. Whoever has the Son has life. Whoever does not have the Son does not have life. Friends, again, God is black and white. Who has the Son has life. Who doesn't, does not. This is what we testify to. We go with a broken heart to those that either have not yet heard or those who we may believe are deceived in a religiosity or a works-oriented salvation or a baby baptism or a dad that's a pastor or an uncle that told me once because I said a prayer or anything else other than the proof and the love of the gospel and the Spirit's transformation in our lives. The sweetness can be found in the details. When this verse says that this truth is in him, spoken to in the present tense, that means it's now. Here's the thing. You come to Christ, your eternal life begins right now. Right now. This is how we overcome. It's in your obsessed love for Christ that you overcome, and the world can't hurt you. I mean, I want you to think about it. What do you say to Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego to scare them? What do you say to Lazarus having been drawn out of the tomb to scare him? My prayer is that we will be sold out, sure in the sun, standing and living on the testimony given by God, about God, in God, through God. Friends, if you know Jesus as Lord and have been rescued by him as Savior, and you have the indwelt spirit in you and the promise of God the Father over you, there is nothing that this world can do to hurt you, ultimately. There's nothing that this world can offer you to allure you, ultimately. The problem is we bow down to and we sell our souls for little shiny things that will be gone in the flash of an eye. Think about 10 billion years and we're just getting started in eternity. What in the world could 50 or 100 years offer in any way, shape, or form that would offset the reality of a timeless eternity either in unspeakable joy in the presence and power of our Lord or in a very real hell where there will be anguish and a cognizant, alert, torturous forever. I can't imagine that anything could be that shiny for those of you or those that you know that still will not surrender to Christ. They have been blinded by the enemy. And this is why we live as overcomers, sharing the truth.